How's it going everyone? I am Kanchinsula, I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go Deep Dive video! Alright, so the new season is kicking off with the Color Cup, and I was excited to try it out, considering I had plenty of meta Pokemon for this cup in my collection. I didn't do too much research on what the best team would be, but I slapped together the top 3 Pokemon in the Color Cup meta to see how they would do together. Well, as it turns out, they are meta for a reason. I'm going to be explaining what this team is and how it plays in this video, so let's throw the intro and get right into it. Alright, let's talk about the color cup. So, this is probably one of the most interesting specialty cups we've had in Pokemon Go's Go Battle League. The reason why I say this is because plenty of Pokemon that are in the top 20 open Great League meta are also good for this cup. However, most of those Pokemon that are top tier in the open Great League are actually considered mid in the Color Cup, and certain Pokemon that are mid in the open Great League are at the top of the Color Cup. So what I wanted to do was just roll with the Pokemon in the top 5 and see how I do. Well, I have to tell you, this team is insanely good. First, let's talk about the lead Pokemon for this team, Toxapex. Believe it or not, this Pokemon is the number one Color Cup Pokemon, and for good reason. It has the unique type combination of Poison and Water. It has a few weaknesses that you will want to watch out for, including Electric type, Ground type, and Psychic type attacks, but it will be resistant to Bug type, Fairy type, Fighting type, Fire type, Ice type, Poison type, Steel type, and Water type attacks. The amount of resistances are insane. Not only is this one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the Color Cup, it is also really hard to take down with super effective attacks. Now speaking of bulk, Tox Apex has one of the highest defense stats in the game. It has a base attack stat of 114, a base defense stat of 273, and a base stamina stat of 137. This Pokemon is an absolute tank. It will not have a lot of health compared to others, but it has an insane amount of defense that will rival pretty much any bulky Pokemon. Tox Apex is not just a great tank, but it does have some offensive capabilities as well thanks to a decent moveset. It has the fast attacks Poison Jab and Bite, and the charge attacks Gunk Shot, Sludge Wave, and Brine. Now out of all of these moves, Poison Jab, Sludge Wave, and Brine are going to be the ideal setup. Tox Apex with these moves has a ton of offensive pressure, especially against the plethora of grass types in the Color Cup. If your opponent is running Tropius, Abomasnow, Trevenant, or Shiftry, Tox Apex will deal with them handedly. Of course, Tox Apex has a lot of key losses you will want to watch out for. Some of the notable bad matchups include Swampert, Lantern, Togedemaru, and Galvantula. However, this is where the next Pokemon comes in, which will be Trevenant. This Pokemon is going to be your absolute best switch. While it performs decently well as a lead, you will do much better switching to this Pokemon if Tox Apex starts in a losing matchup. Trevenant is a Ghost and Grass-type Pokemon. It is weak against Dark, Fire, Flying, Ghost, and Ice-type attacks. Trevenant also has double resistance to Fighting-type and Normal-type attacks, and a regular resistance to Electric, Grass, Ground, and Water types. This Pokemon is incredibly unique, as there's not a lot of Pokemon with both the Ghost and Grass-type combination. This can give it a clear advantage over a lot of Pokemon, since they won't know exactly how to navigate this typing. Trevenant's base stats include a 201 base attack stat, a 154 base defense stat, and a 198 base stamina stat. These are actually really good stats, especially for PvP. It has a decent amount of defense and stamina, but it has a really high attack stat compared to most others. Trevenant really is the full package. I like to think of it as the grass and ghost type equivalent to Swampert, which in and of itself is really strong in the Color Cup. The fun part, however, is that Trevenant is a direct counter to Swampert. You can pretty much one-shot it with a single unshielded charge attack. Speaking of which, next let's talk about Trevenant's arsenal of moves. This Pokemon can come with the fast attacks Sucker Punch and Shadow Claw, and the charge attacks Foul Play, Shadow Ball, and Seed Bomb. The most ideal moveset is pretty straightforward. You will simply want to go with whatever benefits from a same type attack bonus. This means you will want to run with Shadow Claw as its fast attack, and then Shadow Ball and Seed Bomb as its charge attacks. You could try out the Dark type attacks for type coverage, but Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball are just too strong of a move combination. Adding Seed Bomb on top of that gives you great coverage against most of the offshoot Pokemon in the Color Cup, like Swampert and Lantern. 
Now, similar to Pokemon like Swampert, you will want as close as you can to the Rank 1 IVs. This is because Trevenant can still be squishy compared to most of the Pokemon you may commonly come across. Even though its higher offensive capabilities makes up for the lack of bulk, you will still want to help your Trevenant stay longer in battle with those ideal IVs. Remember, Trevenant's role on this team is to be the switch. You will want to immediately go to it if you start off on a losing matchup with Tox Apex. That way, you can get a head start on building energy for when your opponent inevitably switches themselves. But since Trevenant has very few counters in the Color Cup, you might just screw over your opponent outright. Finally, let's talk about the closer for this team. Now, I tried a variety of different Pokemon in this position. The one that I landed on was none other than Tropius. This Pokemon is a grass and flying type Pokemon, with a lot of move spamming abilities and a lot of bulk. For this team in particular, it serves as your closer, as its moveset is perfect for finishing off opponents after they burn through both of their shields. Tropius has a base attack stat of 136, a base defense stat of 163, and a base stamina stat of 223. In terms of the Great League, these are some excellent stats. Tropius has just enough attack damage to nuke down certain Pokemon, while also enough defensive stats to survive against some of the hardest hitting Pokemon. Speaking of which, it is resistant to fighting type and water type attacks, a double resistance to grass type attacks, and a whopping triple resistance to ground type attacks. Unfortunately, Tropius does have more weaknesses than resistances. It is weak against fire types, flying types, poison types, rock types, and a double weakness to ice types. But since you will come across very few ice types in the color cup, you might be okay. Tropius comes with a pretty simple and straightforward moveset. It has Air Slash and Razor Leaf as its fast attacks, and Leaf Blade, Aerial Ace, and Stomp as its charge attacks. So what moves should you go with? Air Slash generates a ton of energy and deals more damage than Razor Leaf, so you should obviously go with that. And Leaf Blade and Aerial Ace both benefit from a same type attack bonus, whereas Stomp does not, so just go with those. You may not surprise your opponents with some spicy moves with Tropius, but the moves that you do bring will do their jobs well. Remember, this Pokemon's job is to close out the match. You will want to just nuke down your opponent's remaining Pokemon with Aerial Ace or Leaf Blade. Since Tropius is hard to counter in this meta, you will likely have an easy time dealing with your opponent. So yeah, overall, this team is insanely good for the Color Cup. They synergize extremely well and will be incredibly difficult for your opponents to deal with. The only time I can imagine you having trouble with this team is in mirror matchups or getting cheesed on by some weird ground and fire type team. However, if you play your cards outright, you will probably be able to handle those teams as well. Just get a lot of practice in and you should be good to go. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you have tried this team, let me know about it down below in the comments. If you think there is an adjustment that should be made, share it and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.